Hey everyone, it's Dave from Dave's Ohio Barbecue. Today, I'm gonna to do an unboxing review and see if there's any real use for this. The Hamilton Beach Breakfast Sandwich Maker. Stick around. All right, so I was gifted this thing a while back um, from someone that knows I like breakfast sandwiches. Little little uh, inside information. I know this is called Dave's Ohio Barbecue, but I'm not actually from Ohio. I live there now, but I'm originally from New York and anyone from New York, you know, probably has strong opinions on a breakfast sandwich, where to get the best bacon, egg and cheese on a roll and that sort of thing. So I was given this knowing that I like breakfast sandwiches. Um, I'm, I have no idea uh, what this thing will do. Uh, I'm not all that not excited. I'm not all that positive that it's going to do a great job because usually I make breakfast sandwiches from scratch in a pan. But we're going to give it a shot and see if it comes up with something that is uh, quick and easy. All right, let's get this thing cut open here. They tape it shut pretty well. All right. First, we've got, you know, always important, the instruction manual. We got a, okay, quick start guide and some for best results. Okay, let's pop this thing out of here. say this about it. It's kind of cute. There it is. It's uh, maybe about six, seven inches high, probably about four or five inches wide. And let's take off all these stickers and such because that's probably not going to taste good. Oh, check this out. All right. So comes wrapped pretty well, obviously, like you would expect. Bunch of foam. Now, I've watched videos on this thing already online, um, so I kind of get the concept of it. Um, basically, what you're going to do, there we go, it is now unwrapped, is, you know, you put some sort of bagel or English muffin and maybe some bacon down there, and then you close this lid and then here you put your egg and maybe your cheese in the top of your muffin or you might put your cheese down there all depends on how you want to do this you close it you let it bake for a while and then what you're left with supposedly is a lovely breakfast sandwich so i'm going to read the manual real quick i'll be back in two seconds and we will get this thing fired up before I started using this, I took, you know, a warm, damp paper towel and I kind of wiped down all the surfaces. You never know what's on them from the factory. So just make sure you clean the surfaces first. Before we start using this, um, you have to kind of spray with like Pam or some sort of cooking spray um, all the cooking surfaces. So I'm going to start by doing that. I don't know if that side needs it, but... Okay. Now, now you're supposed to plug it in. A red light will come on, and when it turns green, it is preheated. Red light is on. While that's warming up, I'm going to go gather my ingredients. My plan is English muffin on the bottom with some bacon and cheese, and then a scrambled egg, and then the top of the muffin on top of there. We'll see how it works. So it took about five minutes for this thing to preheat. A um, couple things you need to know before you get in here. Um, when I sprayed the oil on there, I also took like a little silicone brush I had and I kind of rubbed it around to make sure it was nice and even. Um, also, you're going to put some sort of meat in here. It has to be pre-cooked meat. This is not going to cook bacon. It'll warm it up, theoretically, but it's not going to cook it. That's something it said in the uh, manual. So let's start the assembly here. So first I'm going to put down the bottom of my bun there and I'm going to, well, 
a standard piece of American cheese does not really fit in there. I'm going to kind of rip off some of the corners here so it fits a little better. I don't want it. And then I'll put a couple pieces of bacon on there like that. All right, and then I'm going to close the top layer. And then I've got an egg that I pre-scrambled inside this bowl here. I'm going to dump that in the top compartment, hoping it doesn't leak. And then on top of there, I'm going to put the other half of my English muffin. All right. It says to leave it go for about um, four to five minutes. So I'll, I'll check it at four and see how it looks. So before we take this uh, breakfast sandwich out of this cooker, can we uh, hit the subscribe button down below, hit the bell next to it, maybe give it a thumbs up if you're liking the video so far. All right, it's been about four and a half, five minutes. So now here's the fun part. You're supposed to grab this little um, handle here and slide it over and it's supposed to drop down the egg and the top muffin onto your sandwich. Then you lift everything up and supposedly you're supposed to be able to kind of scoop out um, a done breakfast sandwich. So let's try it. Slide this handle. Well, the tray slides pretty easily. That's good. And it definitely dropped. Um, let's see if I can pick up this bottom ring. Eh, I can. The muffin is kind of almost too big for that. Alright, let me put this on a plate. Let me unplug this thing so I don't burn myself. And I'll scoop this over so you can actually look at the sandwich. Alright, so here's what we got. We got ourselves uh, something that looks like a sandwich. There's a little bit of toast on the muffin. Side of the, the side of the muffin that was touching the griddle seems to be kind of crispy and you can see the bottom here actually is pretty crispy. Um, let me cut this in half. Take a look at it. Okay, it's definitely hot. I mean, it's burning my fingers. So that's a uh, something. All right, so here it is. It looks kind of smushed. You can see the egg is kind of baked into the uh, the muffin there. Cheese is melted. Bacon, I assume, is warm. I'm going to let it sit for a minute, and then I'll do the taste test. All right, so it's sat for a little bit. I'm going to give this thing a bite here and see how it is. So hot. Well, I mean, it's definitely a breakfast sandwich. Um, I'd say it's probably about on par with like a gas station breakfast sandwich, maybe, maybe, maybe slightly better. Um, things I'm surprised about. The uh, muffins actually have more of a crisp on them than I thought they would. I thought they would just kind of be like, you know, just warm through, but they actually toast the outside. Obviously the side that was facing the middle, those sides didn't get toasted, which with an English muffin, let's face it, that's the best part to toast. Um, but overall, it was pretty simple and it's actually not a bad sandwich. I, I wouldn't be disappointed eating this in the morning. Um, what I really want to see if this thing can do though, I want to try and try to find some creative uses for it. And every so often I dabble with the uh, keto diet. As you can tell, I don't really stick to it very well. Um, but I wonder if there's a way you can put an egg in the bottom, an egg in the top, and just kind of cook them. So you have almost like egg buns. And then in between then put some cooked sausage and some cheese, make them in bulk so that you can microwave them in the morning and take them to work with you. That's going to be interesting. So that's the next thing I'm going to try with this machine. Now, like I said, I was given this thing free as a gift. Um, I looked online and they range anywhere from a, the low 20s to about 30 bucks um, online. So that's how much you're looking if you're going to go buy one of these things. Little note about cleanup. Um, the whole, you know, gizmo in the middle that holds everything down actually lifts off and you can remove it and kind of wash it in the sink. Or I think you can even put it in the dishwasher. I'd probably just hand wash it just because it's 
a little fragile. Um, but what I'm going to try now, it's not plugged in. I'm going to, I'm going to put a little bit more of the cooking spray on there and I'm going to try a scrambled egg in the bottom, scrambled egg in the top and see if I can make keto buns. Let's see. All right. First step again is to spray a little cooking spray on there. I don't think I need any on the top. And then I'm just going to take my little silicone brush, just kind of make sure it's all around there. You know, I don't want anything to stick. All right. You know, some of the reviews I've watched of this thing said that the buns just stay kind of warm and not really toasty. Um, I think possibly one of the differences might be that I was using an olive oil cooking spray instead of just like classic Pam. Maybe that gave it a little bit more of a fry texture. Don't know. Um, but it turned, turned out better than I thought it would. So I've plugged it back in. I'm going to let it heat up one more time and then I'm going to put a scrambled egg in the top and a scrambled egg in the bottom. It's preheated again. I'm going to open up the bottom unit here. I'm going to dump in one scrambled egg. Well, I mean, it's definitely hot. It's sizzling. And then I'm going to close the top portion. Dump in the other one. Okay. I'm going to close the lid. And I'm going to give it about four and a half, five minutes. Been in there for about four and a half minutes now. I'm going to open up the lid, see if the egg is cooked, and see what kind of results we have. Looks cooked pretty good. I'm going to slide the lever here. Let it drop. Okay. I mean, it looks like I've got two little egg patties, which was kind of the goal. Nicely shaped. Let me take them off over here. I'm going to separate them so they cool a bit. Unplug this thingy. Slide it out of the way. All right. So that actually, that actually is exactly what I was looking for. We've got two kind of like egg sandwiches. One of the interesting things about this is the bottom um, area where you put the English muffin bottom part. Um, it definitely gets more heat and it definitely cooks more because if you look at my eggs here, here's the one that was in the top and it's pretty even on both sides. You know, pretty cooked. But then this one, this was the one that was in the bottom. Uh, <laughs> definitely gets a little crunch on there. So if you're okay with that, that's fine. Um, but if not, maybe just cook it for four minutes and maybe it'll get less of a burnt edge on it. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to let these cool a bit. And then I'm going to construct a sandwich out of a pre-cooked, um, out of a pre-cooked <laughs> frozen sausage patty. And then a slice of American cheese. I'm going to wrap them up in some parchment. Uh, put it inside of my freezer and then hopefully once I freeze it solid I'll try microwaving it and see how that is. And overall these low carb breakfast sandwiches they have about four carbs in them. There's two carbs from the sausage, about one carb when you factor in two eggs, um, and another carb from the slice of cheese. So four carbs isn't bad for a pretty filling breakfast. So actually the keto breakfast sandwich wasn't that bad. I mean I've, I've had those store-bought before and it tastes just as good as one of those. It's really quick and easy. I just microwaved it for, you know, about a minute and a half, flipped it over, did it for about another minute, minute and a half, depending on your microwave. And it was warmed up pretty good. And then you got something to take to work or heat it up at work or whatever you want. That's pretty convenient. As the sandwich maker goes, I mean, could you make this sandwich just as easily in a toaster and a frying pan? Yes. Um, would it taste as good? Yes, maybe even better. But if you want something quick and easy and you just want to dump stuff in, put a timer and don't think about it, it's actually pretty cool. Um, I don't know how much I'll be using it. I may clean it up and give it to the next person to test out. But uh, overall, neat little, little gizmo if you really, really like a quick breakfast sandwich in the morning. As always, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to me on social media. I'm on Twitter and Instagram at Dave's Ohio Barbecue. I'm also on Facebook. Just search Dave's Ohio Barbecue on Facebook and it should come up. Um, also, click uh, subscribe down below, hit the bell so you get notifications, and uh, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Leave a comment. I will reply to comments if I uh, deem they are worthy of being replied to. I've got a lot of videos coming out really soon. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.